Akshay, if I were to ask you amongst these two teams, do you have a team that you support or are, you know, leaning towards, have a hunch feeling that they have a stronger or an upper hand? Well, um, I believe that uh, Birla is uh, looking good, but I really don't want to pick up a favourite here. It's just the fact that they qualified in the pre-quarters uh, for these quarterfinals. So, obviously, you know, uh, they've had a good run and uh, they are looking good. Their spirits are high. But uh, obviously, College of Engineering Technological University from Pune is also no mug with the ball and with the bot, obviously. And they are also looking equally good. So, it's going to be an equally fought contest. Just a word back about the first quarterfinal that took place between Bracht and MIT WPU. I mean, it was, again, anybody's match. We talked about it, how evenly poised this match was. Barring that little glitch, a little unforced error. And with that whistle, let's get, let's get back to the second quarter final the bots are set out and uh, these two teams college of engineering of pune technological university taking on birla vishwakarma mahavidyale so obviously this um, whistle has started the proceedings for them straight away the second quarter final is on its way let's see who will be meeting them in the semi-finals who will seal the berth for the semi-final here college of engineering and pune technological university will be taking on birla vishwakarma mahavidyale looks like in the initial few seconds it is a team in blue that is birla that has taken the lead already four seaplanes have been planted into the plantation zone and uh, the team in red is also not very far behind. They have a nice strategy. Look at that beautiful placement in the plantation zone. Like good clean pickup there and good plain clean planting. Wonderful work done by COEP there. Team in red. Yes, of course, and the team in blue also that we see over here making strident efforts over here to cover up that gap. And it looks like the pace that both the teams are maintaining right now is evenly poised. What matters over here and may become the difference is going to be the efficiency of the robots to execute the task with ease and efficacy. And if that happens, or for whichever team that happens, they will be running away with their spot in the semi-final. We'll have to see right now both the teams are in the first zone, which is the yellow zone, placing the seedlings in the right spaces. And we have the red team which has successfully placed all the seedlings in the right spots while the blue team's robot is still pretty much there in the first zone placing the last two seedlings but now we see both the robots moving on into the second zone maybe a fraction of a second ahead is the red team in the second zone and it looks like from here the big points is where both the teams will be eyeing their eyes on Akshay especially if you look at the red team whose efforts and also the pace and the momentum that their re robot has picked up is super fast right now. Absolutely. Very important point made by you there. It's just that marginal difference in the initial stages. But in zone number two, they are looking equally good. Now, particularly if we look at Team Blue there, collecting their balls perfectly well, whereas on the unforced error, Team Red has to come back to the starting zone. And that's where the trouble has come for College of Engineering Pune. They were looking so good. They were looking all set. The rhythm was fine. They were going fine with the strategy. But the Team Blue will be looking to take advantage. Already three balls into the area number three and I'm sure their autonomous robot will be zooming to go in into area number three so yes this is the advantage that team blue Birla has had mind you Birla qualified for this quarter final in the pre-quarters only they are in good rhythm but that ball that has come back into the zone one in the plantation zone looks like they are partially lucky and luckily their seedlings have not been dislodged so we'll have to wait for the Empire's decision if that is a deduction or not because there's no dislodging, even the ball has come back. But I think that the throw point from the 10 points that they get of throwing, probably that will be deducted. So we'll have to wait and watch. But Team Red is struggling and the time is up. Looks like it is the team in blue. Birla Vishwakarma Mahavidyale have pipped them to the post as far as COEP Pune is concerned. Brilliant match, but so much can happen in these three minutes, actually. It's very difficult. You asked me my favorite. There were no favorites, but I like the rhythm that Birla was showing as far as the pre-quarter matches were concerned. And uh, see that in the replay, will be picture will be a lot more clearer. They started off pretty well. The rhythm was fine. They were looking equally good. But that unforced error as far as their manual robot is concerned, that's where they have caused this match.
Yeah, maybe it would have caused them the match. In fact, that is the reason why the match would have caused the red team, at least if you look at it, because the robot somehow malfunctioned somewhere during the middle of the game. And that is something that would have costed them at the cost of the fact that even if, you know, we had Birla Vishwakarma Mahavidyale at a spot where their ball from the second zone went back into the first zone, and still they were lucky by God's grace that none of the seedlings fell off, which is a miraculous thing to have happened. And despite the fact that they may not be able to earn those specific points because the ball came back in the first zone, since the competition from the opposition, which was the